Now, when you were going to prison as a youngster, were you the type of guy that wanted to raise, r rise through the ranks of the prison pecking order to, to, to get high up there? Or were you just the type Initially, of Initially, yeah, I, I, you know, not really, I don't really, I didn't really see it like that, like going through the ranks and I'm trying to get up there, nah. But I had the attitude like, you know, let's do it, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, that, that's just the mentality you have as a youngster, man. You want to, you know, you, you want to you wanna do your part and you want to uh, uh, get that little reputation. Now, when you first got to prison as a, a smaller guy, did you ever feel intimidated? Because yeah. I know you've seen some like some huge dudes in prison mm -hmm. and you're a smaller guy. Um, how do you deal with that? Um, I guess, do you ever have a, a, a fear or a, a, a nervousness about, I got to survive on these prison yards yeah. and I'm not the biggest dude out here? Well, more when I was younger, like towards the later years, you already, you know what I mean? You already, you already know, you know, how it goes and you, everything's normal program. But initially, um, yeah, you, you have that mentality where, where, uh, you know, I'm, I'm smaller, you know, a lot of these dudes are, are bigger, so you start thinking like, I'm gonna be strapped. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay strapped, someone, you know what I mean? You, know, you try to come, come my way, I, I got something for you. I may not get you a, a, you may have more on me physically, but I'm, I'm gonna make sure I, I'm gonna win, you know what I mean? So that's the mentality you have, man, when you're smaller, and even out in the streets, in the streets, man, you're smaller, you, you know, but you know, you start, carrying some heat, you know what I mean? And you start doing all those kinds of things because uh, you ain't going to be the one, you know what I mean? You ain't going to be the one to get got. Now, before you got to, to prison, did you do any juvenile hall or YA time? Oh, yeah, I did all of it. Well, not YA. I had a juvenile hall, placements, group homes, camps, all that. And when you were in um, those juvenile facilities, was the division of race as significant as it was when you got to adult prison? No, it's, it's more an adult. It's still there as a, in the juvenile system, but it's more prevalent in, in uh, the adult. So did you ever interact with other races when you were in the juvenile system? Yeah, I interacted with them, but there, there's still that little boundary, I guess. Other than just being locked up and, and not being able to see your family, what's like one of the most challenging or worst parts about doing time? Um, just not being free, man. Not, not having the freedom to move around and, and uh, once again, pr probably exercise your gift. You may have something. I mean, there's a lot of people that do. They're artists, you know, there's, but there's li they're limited to, to how they can operate. So yeah, not being able to, to have that, uh, that freedom, man, being told what, when to eat, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, when you can go out, when you can do this, when you can do that, you're restricted, man. And that's, that's the worst, man. Not having the, not having the freedom to, uh, operate, you know, with, with your, your, uh, you know, with, with it, you, you're in your full capacity, I guess I'm trying to say, not having that is, is, uh, it's the worst, man. It's the worst. Have you ever had to get sent to the hole, solitary confinement, or whatever they were calling it? I stayed in the hole, man. You stayed in the hole. I lived in the hole, man. <laughs> the hole was my best friend back then, man. Is that right? Yeah. I, you know, I mean, anybody that's done time that that been, you know what I mean, uh, out there and that was, you, you had to go to the hole, man. If you never been to the hole, then you, you weren't really, you were really... You were really uh, uh, slipping through the cracks and then not being involved in nothing. But I went to the hole. As soon as I went to reception, we kicked off a riot. Me and uh, my homeboy, uh, my homeboy Stranger, man, we kicked off a riot in Delano. And it all started there, man. That's where it all started. Went straight to the hole, stayed in the hole, and the hole started getting in trouble, started getting in, in doing things, going at it with the police, with the COs, getting cell extracted. Uh, Every prison term I went to the hole. What's the most you've ever done in, in the hole in one stint? Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. 
If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description and thanks for watching StreetTV.net.